Greetings, I am Cross Knight, and this is Kung Fury Street Rage. It's a quick little game, so this is going to be a quick little video just showing this off, but um, it's based off a fan bay a fan-made movie that's essentially just a love letter to Kung 80s action Fury. films. And as, you know, it, it makes sense that they would have an 80s-style arcade beat-em-up to go with it. Now, this game is extremely simple. It's only $2 on Steam. However, you can get it free on tablets, but there will be ads. Of course, if you turn the Wi-Fi off, the ads don't appear, and you can still play it. So, it's exactly the same. I have to be honest, it kind of feels a little bit better on tablet. But there are only two buttons, and when I say that, I don't mean there are two buttons and directional keys. I mean there's a left punch and a right punch. You can't walk around, you can only attack that direction. And when I first played it, I was a little bit disappointed. Like, I just watched the Kung Fury movie, which, again, it's a free movie. Uh, I say movie, but it's only, like, half an hour. Um, and it's amazing. I loved it. Just watch it. Just watch, like, the first, like, 30 seconds of it. And if you don't want to watch anymore, then just stop watching it, because you're not going to enjoy it. But if you enjoy that first 30 seconds, you're probably going to love everything. Um... But yeah, I was a bit disappointed because when I saw the game, because I, I heard about the Kung Fury movie on Steam, because that's where it was advertised, I, I thought the game would be way more like Streets of Rage, and it's not. It's If I had to describe it to someone, it would more so be like a, um, I guess like a rhythm game, like like Guitar Hero almost, Kung Fury. because like it, you attack left and right, your, your attacks also queue up. So if I hit, like, left-right, it'll just go left-right, or if I hit left-right, right, um, it'll do the moves and orders that you press them, even though the animations will take a little while to reach the queue. And it's like a rhythm game because you have to memorize what your attacks are before you do them. And if you attack too soon, you'll miss, and that'll make you vulnerable to attacks and it'll break your combo. And the combos are important because basically the goal of this game is to get the highest score possible. Uh, and if you just keep on attacking people without being attacked, you get a combo. If you miss, you lose a whole bunch of combo, if you notice. My combo's going down each time. If you get hit, you lose a lot of combo. Uh, so now I'm almost down to, uh, to nothing. By the way, there's a poster of David Hasselhoff there. <laughs> um, but yeah, rhythm game. Why? Because certain enemies take different actions to defeat. Now, the regular characters just take one hit. These characters, the blonde guys, take two hits. The robots take four hits. Now, the thing that really mixes it up is the women with the ponytails. In order to defeat them, you have to hit back, forward, back. So, and it's a little bit hard to play while talking. It's hard to concentrate. Um, so, like, I'll just be, like, in my head. Attack, left, right. Doesn't matter here. It's just very easy to beat them. But then this guy, boom, boom. One, two. Defeat him. One, two. Defeat him. And the second you see one of the people with the ponytails, you want to hit the direction they are, the opposite direction that they were standing, and then the direction that they were again, and you'll kill them. So as soon as one of them walks on, I'll show. Boom, boom, boom. Back, forward, back. Back, forward, back. And once there's a cluster of enemies, you're just, like, thinking in your head, like, two, 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 four, then back, back, forward, back, back, forward, back. Two, two, one, one. <laughs> like, that's kind of how you have to do it. And then it just, it, sometimes it just gets so complicated. And if you don't mess up... If you do it exactly the way that you're supposed to, in the order that you're supposed to, you won't get hit. But that gets increasingly hard. Like here, like... <laughs> some mental gymnastics would have to happen to not get hit there. Which is just very hard to do while talking. Now, if you get far enough, you'll eventually get a new enemy type called the Kung Fu Master. I usually don't get that far. Yeah, things are getting really complicated here. And you can't... you Like, I sort of button mashed there, because I knew I'd be safe, but if you button mash too much, you'll miss, and then you'll get hit. So you can't really button mash that much. Uh-oh. I got lucky there. I missed at a time that I didn't get counter-attack. Okay, back forward, back. Back forward, back. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There, that's how you gotta do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But I only hit a three. There. Whew. I just I'm losing my combo because I'm, I'm I'm freaked out here. Damn it! I was starting. I was getting close to my all-time uh, score. I don't know what causes the Kung Fu Master to come, because sometimes like I think you just need to get far enough, and it gets more likely the farther you get. But I've gotten him at like fourteen thousand points before, though that's pretty rare. But it has happened. <laughs> 
So if I don't get him this time, I mean, I guess this is all there is to the game. My main point for making this video is that you should watch Kung Fury. <laughs> Because I love Kung Fury, and I want as many people to watch it as possible, even if they don't play this game. I was okay, even when I thought this game wasn't too great. I mean, I've played it a lot now that I get it, that I get it's kind of like a rhythm game. And I play it more on the tablet than I play it on the computer, because then I can just play it anywhere. And it's good for just whip it out, play a few rounds, and then, you know, close it. But, um, it, it cost $2, and I, I was glad to pay the $2, because I wanted to support this free movie that I love so much. But yeah, um, description, or just search YouTube for Kung Fury, you'll find it completely free. Uh, there's also a music video associated with it called True Survivor that sounds, it really sounds like it was made in the 80s. And it wasn't, but it sounds like it. Uh, that's a great thing also. I wouldn't watch the music video before watching the movie, though, because it has a lot of scenes from the movie, and you kind of want to get those fresh, you know? Also, you notice there's some characters in the background. Those characters will make more sense if, uh, once you watch. Anyway, I'm just going to play uh, another round. Uh, I just want to show around with the Kung Fu Master. So it'll just be a straight Kung Fu Master round, and then the video will end. So yep, watch Kung Fury. <laughs> and there'll be a link to buy this game on Steam also. Alright, quick little video, and I'll see you later. Kung Fury.